Baby down. Come on, Tinsley. Tinsley, come on. Is eating healthy expensive? We just went to the farmer market on this Saturday. We got strawberries, we got bunches of carrots, we got this amazing, amazing sweet pepper, a purple cabbage, a big cabbage, five garlics, four cucumbers, a little bit of broccoli, and a whole huge bunch of onions. And then this huge, huge bag of corn. So that is what clean and healthy eating is. You can't get more organic than the farmer's market. They don't spray. You're supporting your local economy. So definitely do farmer's market and it's not as expensive to eat healthy as you think. Okay, I'm sure I have some viewers here that love having real corn but don't like dehusking it. So here's a little bit of a life hack on that. You will cut off all the way to the first row of kernels not on this side where it has the foofy. And then you'll microwave it for three minutes. And when you take it out of the microwave, it's gonna be really hot, so grab some mittens. And then just proceed to pull up on it. Just like that. And voila, dehus, good to go. And now you can take the kernels off if that is what you prefer. So for this next part, now that our corn is nice and all dehusked and all that good stuff, we will take a bunch sized pan, put the corn in this hole, and we will just cut it. to this pan instead of all over your counter. So I'm just going to keep going around on it. Just like that. Just like that. So just like that. And now it's all in this bun pan and not all over your counter. And it's all the kernel. So Audrey's off to Florence, a little play date for Tinsley, and I'm just here, been working a little bit around the yard, some projects, still working on selling our house, and then we're just still getting settled in, unpacking. I mean, got a huge pile of cardboard boxes from moving in, and then our yard with the septic situation is uh, done. Just waiting for it to be seated. Just took three weeks. To setting up a little hangout spot with a burn pit there. Making it look all nifty Rito. Just getting the yard slowly back together. Got a bit of a pile to burn here. Front driveway is still a little trashed. 
but I'm gonna hook that up for Audrey today so she can ride bike with Tinsley. That'd be nice for them. Once our house sells, I can make this a covered area, have a little storage since the other one was taken down by previous owners. That's fine, so I'm just gotta get some cover for what we have in there. I don't know if I've shown you guys my sign, Outlook Upholstery, Automotive and Furniture. So I don't think I've shown it. Kinda got a theater vibe to it. I like it, it's pretty fun. So I just got that above the garage. I'm open. My favorite part, I enjoy my workshop. Um, so I finally got it situated around where I can flow and work in it, whole new setup. So I'll show you the tour. I got my big heater up there, winter time, my air compressor, and garage door if I gotta bring any cars in. Um, but yeah, the previous guy, he ran an air hose up over the ceiling and ran it to two swivel things that hang down. One there and one there. They're pretty awesome, coming super handy. Here's my shop. Got a project working on, firming up a lazy boy, Tinsley. I watch her out here. She loves hanging around her daddy. So. This is my workshop. Got my nifty heavy duty radio. Gotta have the tunes. I'm gonna be, I got an 84 Corvette seats that I replaced and I'm gonna use the old ones and build a computer chair out of it. So one day you'll see that. Be a fun project. Got my tools, built that up. And then kind of my storage jobs and mixed in here. I'm working on a uh, additional sign here. I'd like to get this up and running today. That's out for the mailbox. The one over the garage, it, from here and it's easily missed, so working on a secondary sign for the mailbox. I realize my footage is probably completely blurry. Let's clear that up. Alright, there we go. Now we got clear footage. So, when a project comes in, through that door, it comes onto this protected table so I don't scratch any fabric or vinyl leather that I'm working on so it's protected and then from there it kinda comes over to the cutting table for material and I cut up material and then it comes either to the glue table where I glue on foam or anything that needs to be glued together and then to the sewing machine where I sew it all up obviously and then back to this table, the item is reassembled and shipped back into the vehicle or furniture that's all finished out. Tools, one of my favorites, the die grinder. Smooths foam wonderfully. Got some buttons, snaps, rivets. Got my screwdrivers and other stuff. Pliers, drills, crowbars. Heavy duty stuff, sandpaper, and uh, wrenches. Gotta use those. Take your seats out. Staple guns. Use quite a lot. Hammers, and yeah, so still working on getting a fab metal fabrication up and running. A lot of people want some custom work, custom gun racks situated in different parts of their vehicle, so I gotta get up and running with the fabrication. Got my steamer. Another one of my favorites. That's a big reveal on my workshop. A lot of fun in here. It's a good uh, shop, good situation. Still getting used to where everything lays. I worked in here for six months with the previous guy. And so I was used to that setup so much. So even though my own setup is good, I'm still getting used to it. I still kind of get lost. Like, where did that go? Where did I put that? So that is what's been going on we're kind of just waiting for our other place to sell <sighs> it's just stressful and barely making it by bills so we haven't been doing anything other than the farmers market and this weekend I am a wedding photographer again looking forward to that pretty fun they're, uh, they're they know what kind of photos they want so it's gonna be a fun photo shoot it's gonna turn out really good gonna like doing that but yeah, try and get my mailbox sign up today, bicycle back together, and work on projects. 
that I got in the shop. Till next time. <laughs>